problems for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction. We'll start with this problem. If it was 9 degrees Celsius and it got 6 degrees hotter, what temperature was it? So here we have plus 9 and it got 6 degrees hotter is plus 6 equals. So the first thing you always do in these problems is check if the numbers you want to add or subtract have the same sign or different signs. So if we look at this question, they have the same sign. So if they have the same sign, we add them and keep the same sign. So we add them, so 9 and 6 is 15, and keep the same sign is plus 15. So our answer is plus 15 degrees Celsius. So now we look at another example. If it was minus 2 degrees and it got 4 degrees colder, what temperature was it? So we have minus 2 and it got 4 degrees colder, which is minus 4. So what temperature was it? So we use the same rule again. If they have the same signs, add them and keep the same sign. So 4 and 2 is 6 and keep the same sign, so it's minus. So now the temperature is minus 6 degrees Celsius. Now we look at our next problem. If you had 16 sweets and you ate 7, how many of you now? So again, it's plus 16. If you ate 7 means minus 7. So this time our signs are different. So the rule for different signs is take the smaller number from the bigger number and keep the sign of the bigger. So we'll take the smaller from the bigger, so 7 from 16 will leave us with 9, and we keep the sign of the bigger, which is plus. So we have plus 9, so we're going to have 9 sweets. Our second example. If it was minus 13 degrees Celsius and it got 8 degrees warmer, what temperature was it then? Okay, so this time we start with a minus 13. And if I got 8 degrees warmer, we're adding 8. So again, our signs are different, so we're going to take the smaller from the bigger and keep the sign of the bigger. So we have 8 from 13, we'll leave us at 5. And we're keeping the sign of the bigger, which is minus. Now we look at multiplication. There are four possible cases when multiplying integers. To look at the first case, we'll take an example. If you have 9 euro in your pocket and your friend had twice as much as you in their pocket, how much have they? So here we have a plus 9 and your friend has twice as much, so we're multiplying by plus 2 equals. So in this case we have a plus by a plus, which will give us a plus. So our answer is going to be a plus, and 9 by 2 is 18. So we'll take another example for our second case. So if minus 2 degrees Celsius was the lowest temperature in October, and the lowest temperature in December was 3 times colder, what was the lowest temperature in December? So here it starts off at minus 2. And the lowest temperature in December was 3 times colder, so we're multiplying by plus 3. So this time we have a minus multiplied by a plus, so our answer is going to be a minus. And 2 by 3 will give us 6. So we've got minus 6 degrees Celsius. The third case is a plus multiplied by a minus will give us a minus. So we say, for example, 6 plus 6 multiplied by minus 3 equals minus 18. The fourth and final case is a minus multiplied by a minus will give us a plus. So minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 will give us plus 12. So remember, same signs give a plus, and different signs give a minus for multiplication. Now we'll move on to division. The first case for division is a plus divided by a plus will give us a plus. If there are 12 sweets to be shared among 3 children, how many does each child get? 
in this case we have plus 12 divided by plus 3. So again our answer is going to be a plus and 12 divided by 3 will give us 4. So each child will get plus 4 sweets. Second case. If three men had the same bank balance and between them they owed 1,200 euro, what was each man's bank balance? Okay, so in this case we're going to start off with minus 1,200 and it's going to be divided among three men, which is plus three. So here we have a minus divided by a plus and our answer is going to be a minus. And then 1,200 divided by three will give us 400. So our answer is minus 400 euro is each man's bank balance. The third case is a plus divided by a minus will give us a minus. So for example plus 48 divided by minus 12. So a plus divided by a minus will give us a minus and 48 divided by 12 will give us 4. Our final case for division is a minus divided by a minus will give us a plus. So minus 36 divided by minus 6 minus divided by minus will give us a plus and 36 divided by 6 will give us 6. Remember, for division, same signs give a plus and different signs give a minus.